Hello everyone, welcome to Mechanical Moments at Mercy J. I'm your host, Rick Smith, Certified Master Technician. One of our followers, Brandy, uh, sent us this question. She says, how do you know if the starter or alternator is the issue if a 2008 Chevy Suburban won't start and the battery is okay? Well, Brandy, uh, first of all, we have to define what we mean by no start. We have two types of no starts. We have the cranks but won't start, and we have the no crank. So a cranks but won't start is a situation where the car goes nee, 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 and it's acting like if you actually ran it out of fuel or something like that. Uh, so we're not going to address that today because I think based on your question, we're talking about a no crank, and that means... When we turn the key, essentially nothing happens. Um, first of all, let's talk about batteries real quick. So first of all, if we turn the key and we get a single audible click, uh, what I want us to do is I want us to make sure that we look at all the lights on the dash. If the lights come on when we turn the key and then when we hear that click, they all go out. Well, then that's typically going to be a problem with the battery cable. And if you go out there under the hood, you're going to probably find something like if you entered Superman's fortress uh, where you have all those crystallized growths all over the place that would be uh, all over your battery cable uh, and just cleaning that up uh, will usually resolve that the second symptom we might have would be uh, if we had a machine gun sound that 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 when we try to start it that's exactly what my wife's car did yesterday as a matter of fact uh, and that's almost always going to be a weak battery uh, so typically uh, we check the battery and we replace it and that's it. Third, um, when we're talking about the alternator, uh, there's a couple things an alternator can do. First of all, if it's charging, uh, typically we're not going to see any lights on on the dash. Everything's working okay. If we have a voltmeter, we should see somewhere around 14 volts. Uh, if the, if the uh, voltmeter is reading at 12 volts or less while the engine is running, uh, then we might have a, an alternator issue. The other quick test we can do is turn the key on. Uh, if it has a battery light, the battery light should come on, and then as soon as the car starts, it should go off. Occasionally, an alternator can drain a battery, uh, and if that's what you have, um, typically the car's going to work great. Overnight, you're going to get up in the morning, and it's not going to start. And at that point, we could have a dome light left on. We could have anything draining the battery, and we would need to check that. The starter is a little more difficult. We might have that single audible click. We might not have any noise at all. Uh, if you're savvy enough to know where the starter's at, you can have somebody hold the key in the start position and tap on it. Uh, the one thing you didn't ask about was we could also have some problems with our security system. So sometimes if we get out of the car, lock the door, unlock the door, it might reset the security system and it'll start. So sometimes this stuff can be fairly simple. If we have a single audible click, the lights go out, or if we have the toy machine gun sound, we can usually just figure that out in a parking lot. Uh, the rest of the stuff is going to be a little bit deeper in diagnostics. Always feel free to give me a call if you're stranded somewhere, and I can try to talk you through it. Uh, so thanks for the question. I hope you guys keep them coming. Uh, so until next time, blessings to you and safe travels.